Yo, what's up guys? Y'all know me, DJ Moptop from Much Obliged TV. This series, if you haven't seen it before, is called Break It Down, our tutorial series. In this playlist, we're going over the best practices for your next interview. In this one, we're gonna go over camera setup and camera composition to make sure that you frame up your next interview perfectly. So let's break it down. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about framing and composition. We're gonna talk about the different types of shots you have. First shot we have is a wide shot. We have a medium shot, and then we have a close-up shot. First shot we're gonna go over is a wide angle shot. This is the main shot you're gonna use for an interview. It's gonna basically have more of the foreground, the background, the subject in there. It's also useful when you have more than one person that you're gonna be interviewing, or if you're gonna have the host interviewing the interviewee on camera. So right now you see just me in the shot right now and you're getting all the wide angleness of it. Now we're gonna show you what it looks like to have an interviewee and a host in the shot. Okay, and we're back. So now you can see how it look, what it looks like to have the interviewee and the host in the shot at the same time. And this is usually gonna be the main shot you're gonna use, like I said before. And this is the benefits of having a wide angle lens in your arsenal too. Especially if you only have one camera, you can be a little more creative with it. If you only have one, angle, one lens, you start with a wide enough lens where you can have it further away. And if you need a close up, you can always move the camera closer. Versus if you, only had, if you had a, a, a tighter lens, you would have to move a lot further back. So another one of the, the good, the uses of having a wide angle lens or a wide shot is that you're able to get more in focus within the shot versus if you had a medium or a telephoto lens, most times it's a little bit more difficult to get everything in the shot in focus. Okay, so the next shot we're gonna talk about is a medium shot, which is usually a shot that's usually from the waist up of the subject and it usually gets the upper body of the subject that you're talking about. It's usually used in conjunction with the wide shot as a cut a cutaway angle. Most times it's, it's at, at an angle at the side. It doesn't that always have to be, or sometimes it can be straight on, like, like you're seeing right now. And this shot basically shows the person you're talking to from the waist up and gets a little bit closer than the wide shot and you know basically focuses on that person. Okay, so the last shot we're talking about now is a close-up shot, and this shot basically uh, just covers from the person's neck up, or sometimes just the person's face, and this is just gonna convey uh, a more dramatic view of the person. Basically, you're gonna see their mouth sometimes, just their face and more expressions, and you, it allows the, the viewer to connect more with the person that's talking, and you get to see what they're talking about more. Okay, so another important thing to note when you're filming an interview is to make sure that you have the camera at your subject at the eye line, at the eye level of the person, because you don't want to have it below the eye line or too much above the eye line because the, the point of view or the perspective of it is gonna make your subject look uh, less flattering if it's a female, even if it's a male. It's just not gonna translate that well on camera. So we're gonna briefly show you what it looks like to have it at eye line, as you've seen before, but now we're gonna show you what it looks like when it's not at eye line. You can see what's visibly wrong with the shot. Real quick, we're gonna go over the focal lens used for each shot really briefly. So a wide angle shot briefly is anything from 17 millimeters roughly to about 35. And that's usually a wide angle uh, shot. Anything below 60 millimeters is, is, is like super wide or considered fisheye. And generally that wouldn't be considered usable for interview type of practices. Uh, medium shots is usually anything from 35 to 50. It'd be like a medium range and anything 50 and above will be considered close up. It'll be like medium and then you have telephoto. Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for watching Best Practices of an Interview. Make sure you all like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Let us know what you guys wanna learn more. We're gonna be making a ton more of these videos over the course of the next couple of years. Love y'all. Peace.